Hey, how's it going, cannabis community? Welcome back to Cultivating with the Cannabis Cowboy. I am the Cannabis Cowboy, and this is Strain Spotlight. And I've got another good one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't know that I've ever had a bad one, but um, we've got something called Purple Train Wreck here right now. And as you can see, uh, the nugs are friggin' huge. And uh, <clears throat> as you can also see down below, it is a cross between Granddaddy Perps and Train Wreck, which is a couple of pretty classic strains. I mean, in the day, uh, in the days now of uh, Girl Scout cookies, wedding cake, uh, chocolate cake, uh, all kinds of different um, skittles and things like that, it's good to see the uh, mainstays like Train Wreck and uh, and Granddaddy Perps hanging out. Um, something you might not know: this is almost a 100% sativa, or actually, it's pretty close to a 100% uh, sativa to be known as just a sativa. And uh, if you know me, that's not something I even go near. Uh, sativas for me have never really done a lot other than kind of get me a little bit more manic than um, I already am uh, but you know at this point in my life I really feel like the more I say that the more I believe that so what I'm gonna do right now is test that theory is Bob the cannabis cowboy actually straight up just an indica guy at the very most a hybrid we're gonna freaking find out right now so as you can see these nugs are nice they're really nice they're freaking big especially this guy right over here. So as usual, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna out of focus my face um, and do you a favor and get this nug right here and bring it up and show you exactly what it looks like. So here you go, folks. That's a really, really nice fat nug. Let's get this nice little profile, there we go. As you can see, we've got some nice dark perpies in there. The perps are definitely showing. Really, really nice. And while we're here, let's go back and drop this under the trichome cam and see exactly what pops up for us. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm not gonna be disappointed by this, so. Oh, we all ready. Here, let's do this. Let's flip it upside down so that it's stable because it's so close that it gets a little headache when you're when I'm looking so there we go look at this nice just so beautiful look at those trichomes just popping all over the place get a little focus right here there we go look at that absolutely gorgeous this is nice looking weed really really nice looking weed not seeing a lot of purple on this particular bud but Maybe we can get a little on the the top of the cola here. But yeah, you can see a little, just little hints of it in there, of the purple. But boy, I'll tell you what, this is a, uh, this is gorgeous. You know, and it's sort of like true to the whole sativa thing where, you know, most sativas you're going to find are going to be your bright greens um, and oranges and things like that. Whereas, as you can kind of see here, there is, there is a decent amount of purple, um, obviously. Um, because of the lineage of the granddaddy perps that's in there but without further ado we're gonna get this uh, a little sample going on right now so let's give it the old break the finger test as usual I've got my clean bowl uh, not sampling anything in a dirty bowl so ooh, yeah that's pungent the train wreck you know what now that granddaddy perps is definitely the dominant scent right here Ooh, so nice. It's like, and I've no, I know I've used this description before, but it's kind of got that new carpet smell. If you've ever been to a carpet store, it's sort of just like this that weird um, plasticky, fabricy sort of smell. But I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't like using those terms. But it's really all I can come up with it. And it's not the kind that makes you go, oh, it's the kind that makes you go, damn. So let's, uh, I'm getting a little bit of a uh, sourness in it too. So let's see exactly what this does to my brain. Um, for all of you folks to check out and again thank you so much folks for checking this out for uh, if you haven't done so already please like and subscribe come hang out with me we do a lot of live streams uh, talk about various things uh, concerning ca uh, the cannabis and the Cowboys um, but uh, let's try this out Okay, a little harsh on the throat right off the bat, but the exhale is smooth. And 
like I usually have um, with indicas, I get sort of a thump and then a, a heat behind my eyes and then a little coolness going down my neck and I don't have that right now. At the very most, I got a little tingling in my nose because I always exhale that first hit out of my nose to get that full flavor of what it's like to smell the, the, uh, the burnt green hit. But man, that purple just cuts through. I can almost not even tell the train wreck is in there. Um, the citrus notes are coming through too. It's, it's really, really a wonderful flavor. And I want to think. I want to say, please comment who you are, because someone asked me on one of the last couple of live streams we did, who we, if I've had Purple Train Wreck, if I've tried Purple Train Wreck or hit Purple Train Wreck. Now I have. Um, I, I definitely have tried one or the other um, by itself. Granddaddy Perps definitely, but not necessarily Train Wreck. Um, train Wreck was something they had a lot when Good Chemistry that I shopped at was called Wellspring Collective on South Broadway that is now called Good Chemistry, um, which is obviously where this came from. But gosh, that's really good. And I definitely didn't have uh, a slowdown, which I normally have in, in, in uh, some of the indicas that I smoke and some of the hybrids that I smoke. So, um, But I'm also not feeling nervous either. I mean, uh, it's a small sample size. It's a little, it's a smaller bowl than usual. So it's not necessarily going to uh, give me the full feeling that I would get from rolling a dube, which is what I normally do. Um, but, you know, let's, let's try it again. Wow. That's nice. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were anywhere in the Denver area, go check out Good Chemistry on South Broadway or downtown Denver. I believe they have an Aurora location as well. God, look at these trichomes. They're just, it's just so nice. It's just so beautiful. Wonderful. Anyway, folks, thanks again. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Facebook. I'm here to help you grow. Um, my plants right now are going through week six and a half, uh, almost seven of flowering, which reminds me I have to go downstairs and water. Um, so as soon as I'm gonna get, as soon as I get close to harvest time, that's when you're gonna see a lot more grow videos. It's kind of the reason why I've been doing some of these sample videos for everyone to check out. They're real quick, um, but it, I really wanted to give you guys the insight on why I feel so damn spoiled living out here in Denver, Colorado, for the last 13 years. This is the dankest nugs I've ever smoked in my entire life and they continue to up the ante at, at good chemistry um thank you so much for amanda and everybody else at, at good chemistry for always taking care of me um, and always ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and keep growing